Okay, I'm going to teach you how to change the headlights on a 2006 to 2008 Chevy Impala. 2008, 2006 to present uh, Chevy Impala. And I apologize, I'm in the dark right now. But I actually have a side marker bulb out. And I figure I'd change them both. But now I got the headlight assembly out, I might as well make a video on it. But uh, let me hit the key here real quick. And I'll show you. I had the flashlight on my mouse. Where the hell's my keys? Here they are. Let me light it up a little bit. Hit it. Whoa. Okay. So I got a side marker, headlight, blah, 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 blah. I took that one off already. But um, to, to put a headlight in this thing, it's kind of like a sealed unit. Uh, what you want to do is you want to take that bolt off right there. Just one bolt. It's a 7 millimeter metric. And once you take that bolt off, there's this little clip right here. And if I can try to hold the flashlight in my mouth, but you pull up on this clip here. And it has a little bit of a rubber boot behind it. Right behind, I don't know if you can see it. As you pull up, it'll release off those two little stoppers and it'll dislodge the, uh, the headlight. So, um, you got a little oil leak in there. What the hell is that? Anyway, um, you know, I'll kind of put the flashlight in my mouth, but you take that bolt off, okay? And then when you get down here, you just take it and light it up here. Because it like this, right? Pull it up. Comes right off. See right there? Ah, I took a flashlight out of my mouth, but that's how it holds it on there. That goes right in there. Let me put that back in there. Um, I'm going to get it in. Sort of. I took the other one off already. So we'll go in the garage here. If I can see. And then I'll show you. The dismantled headlight and it is in here Whoop. Hit the door okay this is the dismantled headlight right here let me shut the flashlight off and basically the design just throw my keys there this headlight's pretty big but as you can see the turn signal bulb, high beam, low beam, and the corner light. Now the design on this, see, the, let me show you. That's where the stoppers were. If it were in the, you know, the car, that's where that plastic clip was that held it on. Of course, there's the hole where the bolt was. But if you flip it upside down, a lot of these cars, this is kind of hard for me to flip around here, but let's put it on this can. This is upside down. A lot of these cars have the bulbs I mean obviously the you know the, the turn signal and the side marker are wired into the connector but a lot of these cars have the bulbs built into the headlight assembly and they just run one cord a cord whether you know like wiring but this is the only wiring I had on the back of this thing you just you know pry it off of that and pop it out and the whole assembly comes out uh, here's the access for the two uh, headlights the high beam and a low beam and to take these off, you just kind of twist them a little. They're pretty tight. Come on. Okay, it's moving. Don't do it too fast in case there's a the gasket in there. Okay, and you pry it out. There's your headlight. And the wiring goes to it. It's kind of a weird design, but I can kind of see what they mean, keeping it sealed. Um... This clip right here, you just pry up on it, and the connector would pop off. And then you would uh, take this headlight. Uh, it's in like a little rotational seat. Uh, you turn it either to the left or the right. Can't remember which. Most likely to the left. Turn it to the left, and it pops out, and you'll see there's three teeth in there. Same with this headlight when you pull that out. I actually don't have to screw around with the headlights at all. I just got to replace a little bad boy right there, and I'm doing it in the dark. I'm gonna take this car tomorrow, so I'm trying to put this back on. But when you put it back on, there is a very tight gasket on here. The teeth are the same. Just kind of put it back in there and turn it, 
kind of slow. Don't break anything. A little pressure is needed. <sighs> there. But that's the headlight. I'm going to try and take out, let me see, that bulb i got to replace. And I bought a pair of two. Now, if you ever replace headlights or any bulb whatsoever, a lot of people will say you should replace them in pairs. Well, they're right because... 99% of the time, if one goes, the other one's not too far behind. Um, I had a headlight blow out once, and I replaced it with one. And then, as I left the next day, the other one blew out. So, uh, on this one, same scenario. It's all in a twist lock. So, I just want to take this and twist it to the left. If I can get it out while holding this. Probably not. Oh, no, there it goes. Come on. They flip upside down. There it is. I'm trying to turn it. Ooh. There we go. Turn and it pries out. And there it is. That's your standard 194 uh, signal bulb. And uh, don't touch it with your hands. Obviously, if it's bad, you can pull it out with your hands. It just pries right out. But if you've got a pack of new ones, which I have right there, don't touch them with your hands. The oil actually reduces the life. Don't really know the specifics. Even says it on the back. Use gloves. But swap the bulbs in. Twist that back in the assembly. Reverse the instructions. Slide it back in. Put that plastic clip in and put the bolt back in. And that's it. And that's how you change the headlight, or any bulb rather, in this assembly on, this thing is heavy, on a 2006 to present Chevy Impala. Thanks for watching.